I think one of the cool pieces is um, everybody's always asking me about tech. Everybody's always asking me about um, leads and everybody's always asking about like dialing and scripts and stuff. Which of those would you like to dive a little more into? Because I noticed the compliant scripting with a proven track record to make sure you produce like having scripts inside of a marketing platform is, you know, tech platform yeah. is super unique. When our team built our platform, you know, we wanted to make it so user friendly that you know, there was no, there was no guesswork with it. Right. So, you yeah. know, you know, this and I, and, you know, from having been this in this business for a long time, that usually the level of discomfort that it, most agents get when they're looking at writing a new product line or a new, new carrier or whatever the case may be is what do I do if somebody says yes. Mm. Right. Like how do I write the application? Right. We wanted to mm. alleviate all of that. Right. So from start to finish, from when the interested prospect, you know, gets in your queue and, and hits your, you know, hits your headset or hits your, you know, whatever, however you have it set up, and you're starting to speak to that individual, you have everything you need in front of you. So again, we have a pre-populated script. So you can, you know, again, just follow along, do your fact finder, plan comparison, and then move into the enrollment. Hey, welcome back to the CA Power Players Podcast. I've got a special one today with my good buddy, Mr. Tim Nardoni, jumping on the channel on the podcast. What's up, Tim? Cody, how are you, sir? I am great, man. So you are coming to us today. Uh, you have, you've been in the industry for five years. You're working with Premium Choice as the CEO, which really is a technology and marketing to help external partners. I kind of want to dive into that world today, right? It's the virtual sales model and the world. Um, What's been the, like, because pre premium choice is technically a consumer brand that's also helping agents now. Mm -hmm. um, walk through that, like, evolution of things, because it's been a crazy ramp up. You guys have grown really quick. Like, those that are watching, I can promise you, like, you're going to get some major bombs today. They've scaled a company in the most ridiculous we've ever heard, but I'd love to hear it from your mouth to the audience's ears. Yeah, no, Cody, thanks again. Thanks for having me and, and appreciate the introduction. So, Again, Tim Nardoni, CEO of Premium Choice. Uh, we started our company, I just joined the team this last year, um, but our founders started the company um, a little over two years ago, right in the beginning of the pandemic. And just like a lot of us saw an opportunity to, to find a new way, you know, to do things or to, or some people were looking for how do, how do I keep things going, right? This was, you know, it was a very interesting time for a lot of businesses and a lot of organizations. And Premium Choice, um, founded by our Eugene, or Eugene, our founder, um, insurance agent by trade and the rest of his family has a technology and marketing background so they really leverage each other's capabilities to build premium choice and build a virtual sales team um, so an opportunity to sell insurance over the phone by way of you know email signature text signature all the resources that we have access to now really that got accelerated since COVID mm -hmm. um, but saw an opportunity to, to to really grow that side of the business, and you know a lot of folks it was it was because they had to, you know, there were a need to, right? Not necessarily because they wanted to. Whereas Premium Choice kind of embraced that that model and has kind of just ran with it, and, and a lot of people have adapted to it. We're not the only you know per person in, or only shop in town that's that has a virtual sales team. Um, but to your point, you know, it's it's been amazing the growth that we've seen. You know, starting from you know zero agents to a little over. A uh, hundred full-time W two licensed agents that are selling for us all over the country. Um, you know, thousands of enrollments every month. You know, primarily Medicare focused. Crazy. Um, it's uh, it's it's amazing. So you know, again, I'm I'm honored to be on the team, and honored to be a part of it. That's really quick too. If you think about the timeline, like a lot of people get in the insurance industry, like man, you know what? I want to make, you know, just a hundred grand would be nice. You know, and mm -hmm. then you guys are making like you know you know, freaking hundred grand a week, at least. Um, when you look at like the evolution and how much this has grown and exploded and, you know, zero to a hundred full-time agents in, 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 in over just over a couple of years, what has been special and unique about y'all that other agents can learn from, or like what stood out? Like how allowed you, how, well, what allowed you to do that so quickly and why do agents also care, which we're going to get to at some point later? Yeah. Yeah. Good question. And, and I guess this was applicable to really anybody's business and, and where they're at is, you know, how, how can I grow? How can I scale? You know, maybe I'm just getting started want to learn, you know, how do I go from zero to six figures? You know, what's the path? And I would say, you know, the, the sizzle behind the stake is, is the marketing, you know, being able to get mm -hmm. in front of people at an efficient rate, finding those interested prospects that want to talk to you, want to hear about what you're offering. 
Um, I always tell folks, you know, really to be an effective agent, it's almost more important to be a better marketer than it is a salesperson. You know, most people that get into this business have some level of sales experience, whether it's, yep. you know, cell phones, cars, you know, whatever it is, but are looking for, you know, more, they're looking for residual income. They're looking for all the great things that the insurance industry offers, you know, but you have to be able to get in front of prospects, right? So, you know, when I'm talking to folks about their marketing strategy or how they plan to grow from zero to 10,000 enrollments or, you know, to 100,000 enrollments, right? I mean, the sky's the limit. I mean, we've seen organizations in the last five years, you know, just absolutely explode. Um, and it's because there's more there's more beneficiaries than there is agents, right? So the, the market is huge, um, you know, but it's, it's having that strategy to be able to get in front of folks. And I would ask people all the time, you know, what is your strategy? Are you going to buy direct mail leads? Are you going to do seminars? Are you going to do lunch and learns? You know, what is what is your strategy? And then also, how much do you value your time, right? If it if you're someone who, you know, hey, I don't like to buy leads, I don't like to do this, I like to do just grassroots marketing, that's awesome. You know, I, as, I would challenge you to ask you the question is, you know, how much do you value your time? How much, if you were, you know, going to put a billable hour on your time, how much how much would you value that? And let's just say, this, well, 50 bucks an hour, because I want to make $100,000 a year. Fantastic, great number. Mm-hmm. So if it takes you 20 hours to acquire your customer, and yes, you didn't buy a lead. Yes, you didn't go out and do a seminar and didn't pay for a lunch or anything like that. How much did that cost you? It cost you a thousand dollars to acquire that customer, right? So you can you can do that, and that's fantastic. You know, plenty of people have built built large books of business without ever buying a single lead, which is amazing. I've hats off to all those folks that have done that's it. Crazy. But there's tools and resources out there that can accelerate, you know, your your path to whatever your goal is, right? Whether it's a a technology platform like ours that offers a, a guaranteed live transfer amount per 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 agent per month, right? A, yep. a commitment of 200 to 250 uh, transfers. A tech platform that can you know track Easy. your business, you know manage all the operations, analytics of your business, and all the things that you know we we know you need to do, yes. you know, to grow a book of business, to grow a practice, to grow an agency, you know, whatever that looks like, whether it's one one person, 20 people, 100 people, or a thousand people. You know, you have to have some sort of system in place to to manage those expectations and to to track your results. Yeah, you, uh, you bring up a good point too because you talked about technology and marketing to four external partners. Because um, you have the you have the agent model, right? Mm-hmm. Over a hundred full time WT agents that are selling across the country, you know, online. Um, but then you also have the external model. So you don't someone doesn't have to have contracts with you. They don't have to join your company. They don't have to you know, right. um, become a W2 agent on salary, right? Like they can just literally plug in and get access to your technology. Uh, h- how does that piece work for someone that's like, man, I like where I'm at, but man, I would love to sell more insurance and yeah. talk to more yeah. people. And, and that's the side of our business that's really gotten a lot of traction in the last, you know, five or six months with really no, you know, marketing. It's all just been my word of mouth, but that's growing our external partner platform. Uh, where we're offering our technology, we're our, offering all the marketing services that every single one of our internal W two agents use to help them write, you know, somewhere in the range of twenty to thirty, even forty enrollments per week, depending on, you know, just how much volume that they're taking on. And so how that how that works is, is folks are, you know, it's really just been by word of mouth. You know, they schedule time to to meet with our sales team, maybe meet with myself. You know, we take them through a demo of the platform so they can see exactly, you know, what they're going to view whenever they log in. Um, manages everything from their dialer, their telephonic capabilities, their CRM to track their business, uh, the enrollment platform. And then the fourth piece of it, which is, you know, the one that we're most excited about is the marketing, right? We've, we've, mm-hmm. we've been able to do it all from one system. So you don't have to, you know, necessarily look for a lead partner or somebody to help you with marketing. You, you know, we really have kind of embodied it all into one platform and we're offering it to external partners whether you're aligned with us or not, you know, it's all good. You know, we get it. You know, you maybe have relationships with, you know, your existing FMO and that's totally fine. If you'd like to partner with us, we'd be happy to talk to you about that as well. Um, but yeah, we've offered it to partners, whether they're, they're aligned with us or not. So, yeah. Which is cool. Cause most, they have like this secret sauce, you know, like, like the wizard of Oz with the behind the curtain and, 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 but, but you have to like, you got to give me your contracts to see what this looks like, man. Right. Like, like for us to, you know, for me to show you the recipe, like, you know, I got to get a piece, you know. And I get it. I get it. Right. I mean, for, for some organizations like that, it, it has to be that way for it to make their economics work. And that's totally fine. Right. Sure. The, the biggest difference between us and the other folks 
is we own all the marketing side of it. You know, all of our marketers are employees of Premium Choice. Um, you know, so we've we've been able to do it at a really low cost than some of the competitors out there. So, you know, when it comes to everything that we look at, when it looks to building a business and scaling a business, right? Your your cost per acquisition and lifetime value of that customer, right? So yeah. we've been able to really nail it down to a science on how many transfers it takes per day, you know, per week, per month, in order for somebody to be profitable very quickly. Um, so it's, it's, it's pretty cool. And to your, it's, it's funny you mentioned the Wizard of Oz, the secret sauce behind the curtain. It is all the behind the scenes things to make it happen that makes it a really effective platform. We have yep. our sales team and, and operations team are amazing. Um, the trainers that, that support all the agents, whether you're, again, whether you're internal or external, um, all the scripting and training and coaching, it's, it's all, it's all embodied in one full enterprise system, you know, so you don't have to go out and search for, you know, one piece that you're maybe missing from somewhere else. Yeah. Cause I think the industry is kind of fragmented in a lot of ways, you know, like, yeah. um, and, and what you're talking about is a technology platform that really has everything you could ever need, you know, whether it's leads, CRM scripting, dialer, sales coaching, you know, yep. I mean, you sent me your one pager and I'm like, wow, uh, I think the only thing missing is like food and housing, you know? Yeah. yeah. And you know, we'll talk about that. That's you know, it's not <laughs> off the table. That's the next step. Like, you the know, next step. but it's Cody's house, not mine. Yeah, 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 exactly. So you had, we work, we work and then we live like the, you know, you guys haven't made it to the, we live yet, you know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, I love it, man. Well, if you think through also you, and what has brought you to today. I would love for you, you know, like you, you've worked with some heavy hitting companies in the space. You moved your way up the ladder, so to speak, really quick. You have crazy connections. You are known or know pretty much everyone, um, which is pretty impressive, by the way, that you've built that and that's happened. How did that happen? Is it, you know, you're just like the coolest, cutest dude in the world and everybody just attracted you or like, you know, right. you, you had yeah. to, that's it. Okay. I would say that's reason number one. Second is luck for sure. Um, <laughs> no, but in, in all seriousness, if, you know, if anyone asks me, you know, about my journey, it's because I've had unbelievable mentorship uh, throughout my career from when I first got licensed. Yeah. Um, you know, I started as a, as an LOA agent, which I know can be a cuss word, you know, for some, sure. for some, for some people, but you know, I had sure. a great opportunity. Um, started selling Medicare and final expense. In my first year in the business, I made a really nice income. Um, that next year, I started to build a team. Um, that agency grew about 5x in 18 months. Um, that got the attention of some of the folks on the leadership wow. team. Yeah. Well, how? 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 So, so, so 5x in 18 months. How? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> so it's funny. So we, we, were, we were part of a system that had a great uh, lead platform and marketing system that was available to, to, to us and our agency and our agents. Um, so we were constantly in front of people, right? We were, you know, getting somewhere in the range of 30 to 40 direct mail leads per agent. We had appointment setters setting our, our appointments for us, you know, so we were in front of five, six people a day, mm. four days a week, right? So we were seeing 20, 25 people a week uh, presenting and selling final expense. And, you know, me not, not really knowing, you know, how to, how to scale it through, you know, different kinds of efforts that a lot of folks are doing it now by way of digital and other platforms. Ours was just good old fashioned grassroots marketing, you know, finding and connecting with people that were looking for a change. They would come in, they would usually shadow me for a week. And they'd ride around with me to final expense appointments. They'd watch me, don't say a word. The next week, I'm going to watch you. I'll, I'll jump in and save you from drowning. And then after that, they were on their own. And that was our system to where we grew from, you know, we were doing about 20,000 a week in life premium. And we ended up, you know, averaging about a hundred thousand a week in life premium. And that was only with like twenty-five agents. Wow. So our average agent was riding between four and five thousand a week of life insurance premium. That's solid. Right, which is amazing. Um, and it was only with like twenty or twenty-five people. So we had a really tight knit group. Um, we had a system. We did not deviate. I think one time we actually did bring in, you know, a few more people than we probably should have, and we just kind of deviated from the system and it just didn't quite work so well, but um, that was just, you know, before we had a lot of the resources that we have now, This that was, you know, prior to COVID. So it was, you know, more of the, you know, traditional, you know, hey, you're going to jump in the car with me. We're going to run around, see yep. some appointments, knock some doors, and we're going to sell some insurance. Um, and yeah, so that was, I mean, that was where I got my scars, bruises, and and, and all my awards too, right? My, my first year in the business, I was agent of the year um, with one of the largest insurance companies in the world. So, mm. 
you know, that platform Dang. gave me the, gave me the, the diving board, right. To, to just jump in and make a splash in the industry. And, and to your point, got connected with some incredible people. Um, the executive team at that organization brought me along into another company um, as the executive vice president of sales. Um, we had a great experience there. Um, we were able to get that company to an acquisition, which was amazing. I was able to participate in that, which was really cool. That's awesome. Um, and then earlier this year, I got connected with the folks at Premium Choice that said we're looking to we're looking to bring on a new CEO, and I kind of kind of couldn't believe it. I'm like, this is this is amazing. I you know I heard something yeah. the other day that you know the decisions you make today are going to impact you five years from now, and I'm thinking. Holy cow, right? Like that's mm. you know, so my decision to get in the insurance business five years ago has led me to this. I can't even imagine what the next five years are going to look like. Totally. So, you know, anyways. Um, I love yeah, that. It's been an amazing journey. It's powerful. Also, you, you are working with Final Expense and Medicare, um, whether it be internal or external. You know, right. I mean, you, you've pretty much, you pretty much have a platform that does a lot accomplishes a lot someone can plug a headset in and make cells but you've also made it open source so to speak we talk about like tech and coding right yeah. like you've got it's closed source but it's also open source you know like it's for people that want to work with you on from a salary standpoint but it's also people that you know don't want to and they want right. to you know, do what they do talk about this i think one of the cool pieces is um everybody's always asked me about tech everybody's always asked me about um leads and everybody's always asking about like dialing and scripts and stuff you know mm -hmm. um which of those would you like to dive a little more into because i noticed the compliance scripting with a proven track record to make sure you produce that's a like having scripts inside of a marketing platform is you know tech platform yeah. is super unique yeah and, and i'll probably kind of cover a little bit of all of it um in this next couple of statements but you know when, when our team built our platform you know we wanted to make it so user friendly that you know there was no, there was no guesswork with it right so yeah. you know you know this and i you know from having been this in this business for a long time that usually the the level of discomfort that it, most agents get when they're looking at writing a new product line or a new new carrier or whatever the case may be is what do i do if somebody says yes mm. right like how do i write the application right we wanted to mm. alleviate all of that right so from start to finish from when the interested prospect you know gets in your queue and and hits your, you know, hits your headset or hits your, you know, whatever, however you have it set up and you're starting to speak to that individual, you have everything you need in front of you. So again, we have a pre-populated script so you can, you know, again, just follow along, do your fact finder, plan comparison, and then move into the enrollment. So, you know, doing that, we've, we just, we've got so much time and, and, and swings at the plate that we've been able to, to translate that for external partners, right? Because, you know, a lot of the folks that I talk to like, Hey, can I use my own scripts? I'm like, hey, I don't, you know, I don't care. That's that's completely up to you. But I would strongly encourage you to look at the one that has allowed us to write tens of thousands of enrollments in just two years. But you know, if there's something that you like to say that's a little bit different than I do, you know, that's okay. You know, but that's why our team that that's why we have our team leads and our sales coaches too, right? So if you know if we have a, a partner that gets on the platform and we follow up with them maybe a couple weeks after or five days, ten days in and they're not quite getting the conversions, you know, we can, we can go through and, and look at what's going on. Well, it's like, let's look at your metrics. How long are you on the phone with the prospects? Are you, are you sticking to the script or maybe something with your script doesn't quite work with as well with this platform, right? Because, mm. you know, it was a different way that the client got engaged with you, right? Maybe the first conversation, you know, the old way was, it was a referral. That's going to be a little bit different than someone that goes online and fills out a request for information on one of our websites. Yes. And then, you know, wants to talk to you. Right. So it's just navigating that environment and it can, it can be a little particular, but you know, as, as we always say, words matter, right? So the words and the yeah. script are there for a reason and we just have, you know, the data to back it up on, on how to get there. So no doubt. You know, dialer, CRM, um, you know, marketing, it's kind of, it's, it's all one piece. Yes. And someone just being coachable and saying, you know what, dude, I yeah. just want to, I just want to, Makes, I mean, at the end of the day, people should just want to wake up, talk to people, and make money. Mm -hmm. The rest of it's just, you know, kind of convoluted and complicated and, and, and can really get in the way, it, you know what I mean, of the real goal. Yeah. Make, talk to people, make money. Yeah. And we've seen a lot of our, you know, external partners that have, that have, that have joined us and on, on our platform that they have your typical field based model where they have external brokers that are out. You know, buying leads, doing seminars, doing lunch and learns, getting getting clients, 
and then maybe this is a five or ten seat LOA team, right? That they have, mm -hmm. you know, they're diversifying their lines, you know, of distribution, right? So it's not just one way to get it done. And we've been able to find, you know, a, a, a way that if somebody does have that that uh, appetite or, or the interest to start to build that side of their business, they want to, you know, build a build a block of business that the agency owns, you know, 100% of the business. So they get the agent comp, they get the overrides, they get the marketing dollars, all that stuff. Yep. Um, you know, but you have to have the platform and the strategy to, to execute, right? True. So, you know, we, we, we've seen a lot of success with that in regards to external partners. Like, hey, you know, I got my, you know, my son's a great agent and his, his, his friend's a great agent. We're going to bring him in the office full time and we're going to have him hit the dialer and see how they do. And, and it's been, it's been amazing. It's awesome. Give some feedback, some stats, some testimonials, some case studies on what you know, from those that have worked, we're working, at, you know, externally, they're just plugging in, jumping on, paying a seat fee and taking calls. Yep. And, and they're keeping their contracts. They own the client. Like it's, you know, they're independent. They do their thing, but yeah. they're using you as a tech marketing play. Yeah. Funny thing is we did a survey with some of our external partners and just on the CRM piece, you know, how important that is to them running their business. And 80% of the people said that they couldn't, they couldn't live anymore without our CRM, which is pretty wow. cool. I'm like, and the funny thing is, like, I really don't even talk about that that much, right? Because yeah. when people ask me, you know, about our platform, they hear about our marketing capabilities, and they're like, yeah, I just, you know, that's really what they value in that side of it. But 80% of the people that we surveyed were like, yeah, the CRM is crucial for us. Mm. Like, that's cool, right? Because that's just another value add to, you know, to make that a more, <clears throat> you know, valuable piece of, of the partnership. Um, you know, but what we've seen is just we've, we've, we've seen folks that have just, been able to get plugged in, you know, utilizing our sales team, utilizing our um, our trainers and our team leads to help manage their their sales team, really, right? Because with each, yeah. with, with every, I believe it's every 10 agents that we have on the platform, we have an assigned team lead. Uh, mm. So that person is responsible for managing, you know, all of Cody's agents' talk time, you know, what their conversion rates, all that. So it's it's a way to, to start to manage your business from a from a from a higher degree level, so you can focus on growth and scaling and all that stuff. Let us kind of do the, the the dirty work for you. We'll roll our sleeves up and go to work for you. So you know we get a lot of good feedback from that. And then just the overall conversions. Everybody wants sales, right? So if I'm on our platform, you're generally getting between 200 to 250 transfers per month. You know we're seeing folks convert as you know as high as 20 to 25 percent, right? So you're talking 40 to 50 enrollments per month. And, you know, we all know what our comp levels are out there. We all know what our overrides are. You can you can do the math on that, on what kind of revenue an LTV each one of those customers brings for you, right? So, you know, I'll let you kind of get your post-its yeah. out and start to put some math together. Um, but even if you were converting at a low percent, 10 to 15 percent, based upon what the costs are, it's still a very profitable uh, venture, right? So, but we obviously want to get everybody to that. You know, kind of the magic number is 40 apps a month. That's where we really want to get people per per agent per month. That's mm. the that's where it really gets exciting for our partners. They're like, holy yeah. cow, this is this is the real deal. I don't know why we didn't do this a long time ago. Right? Yeah, so it gets what, we, it gets get good. Lot. Yeah, it gets yeah. real good. Then, um, well, Premium Choice is a, I mean, from a website standpoint, it's consumer facing, uh, mm -hmm. but they can obviously always connect with you on LinkedIn at Tim yep. Nardoni. That's T I M and then N R A D O N I. Uh, they can also email you Timothy at premiumchoice.com. Yep. Um, what else would you like to leave them with as you kind of close out and give them any direction on speaking to you or anything else? Yeah. Left out? No, would, would, would love to schedule some time with anybody that wants to just get a quick demo of our platform. We can show you what it looks like when you log in, you know, one of our, one of our sales, someone on our sales team can take you through that and, and, you know, give you a full, full view of what that looks like. You know, I would encourage you to, as we're winding down in this busy selling season, you know, to look at how you, what you accomplished this year and what your goals are for next year. And if you're looking for something that's going to really accelerate the, your sales and get you to a, a very effective run rate, you know, give us a shout. Connect with me on LinkedIn or shoot me an email. I love it. Tim, thank yeah. you for sharing the new virtual sales technology, not really new, but maybe new to them technology yeah, platform right. that you're rocking, man, Tim. <laughs> awesome job on the podcast interview. And thank you for being on. I appreciate it, Cody. Boom. Thank you, brother. Okay. Thank you guys for listening to the CA Power Players podcast. So my buddy, 
Tim Nardoni from Premium Choice. Reach out to him, get a demo, hang out with him. And you can email him again, timothy at premiumchoice.com. See you on the next one. Hey, if you enjoyed this, I got another one you're gonna love. It's right there, click on it, see you in there. Hey, I'm back with another interview, man. Special guest today, a tech wizard today. Okay, my buddy, Mr. Corey Bell from Lead to Client CRM. What's up, Corey? How you doing, Cody? I'm doing fantastic. Yeah, man, I'm doing awesome, brother. Appreciate you asking. Um, so I would love for them, because you've got a...